Welcome everybody. Forrest Nace here with American Steam Railroad. And I'm Rob Gardner with American Steam Railroad. And today we're coming to you from the Mad River and Nickel Plate Railroad Museum here in Bellevue, Ohio, standing inside of our tool car number 9110. And for our monthly update, Rob, you made a very interesting road trip. Please tell our viewers where you went and what you experienced. Sure, Forrest. Yeah, earlier this month, uh, I headed up to Menor, Ohio to Blyle Machine Company. They're our specialty uh, contractor to uh, start the machining and forging process on our flexible and rigid stay bolts. Why don't you come along with me and I'll show you a little bit more about how the process works. So the first stage here in uh, making our stay bolts is to use this cutoff saw. We set a stop and we'll cut all the stay bolts of each length in a production fashion. And of course, anytime you're doing any kind of production work, you want to keep an eye on your quality control. So we're always measuring to make sure that the stop hasn't moved. And then once we cut our test pieces, then we uh, carried them down to the building in the back where the actual forging process would take place. So before forging the stay bolt, the piece of one inch stock has to be heated up to an almost molten state so that it can be shaped or formed in the upsetter. In this case we're using an electric induction furnace that uses this coil that as you can see within about 15 seconds time will take the steel to a, a nice glowing orange state. Now here Chan has set the piece in the upsetter. Uh, the two pieces that actually hold the shank of the stay bolt are called the gripping dies and then the actual hammering is done by the, the forging head itself. And here's what they look like when they come out. And here we're already we're already making steam with our new stay bolts. So the next step is that we, we at that point have a rough forged spherical head. The key here is that we need to get a nice machined surface. So with a single form tool that's been ground out of high speed steel, we'll be able to machine each of these heads to get a nice consistent round shape. We would like to say thank you to all of the people here who have so generously sponsored to have the forging and machining of the stay bolts completed to date. Your donation is bringing us even closer to completing the firebox work. If you haven't donated yet, it's not too late to make your contribution to this current fundraising drive today. Only $10 to sponsor the forging and machining of one stay bolt, and you can sponsor as many as you'd like at our online gift shop. Despite only two work sessions in the month of February, we have still been very productive. Work continued on removing items from both above and below 2100's cab floor in preparation for its removal and ultimate replacement with new steel. Since we are returning the locomotive to burning coal, a new floor will be fabricated that will allow space for the stoker feed mechanism and great shaker bars. The stoker feed screw continued to receive attention as the blade fins were built up with new weld material, then ground back to a good finished profile to renew the auger screw. Additional brackets in the tender have been removed so the stoker feed trough can eventually be reinstalled in the coal bunker. Our volunteers also attended the annual safety training class held at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society where most of our work is done. This helps refresh our knowledge of safety along with creating good safe habits to practice. And that's a wrap for our monthly update for the month of February with the initial machining and forging of our stay bolts. I believe we have a special event coming up in May that Forrest is going to tell you a little bit more about. That's right, everybody. It's an event you don't want to miss. Continuing on with our Legends of Steam programs on May 16th, right here at the Mad River and Nickel Plate Railroad Museum in Bellevue, Ohio, Doyle McCormick will be here telling the stories of the American Freedom Train, the restoration of the Alco PA, and his days of railroading. Tickets are selling fast, and it's an event you definitely don't want to miss. We hope to see you there, and everybody, thank you so much for all the support you've given in restoring the Reading T1-2100 and American Steam Railroad.